that they are with us. I am thankful to be with you on this evening, whether it is by phone, online, or here in person. But I am thankful, and I have to believe that all of you are as well. Yeah. So let's take a moment and just give the Lord some praise to let him know. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to take some time to reflect and to think about what we are doing to ensure that we stay well. So I encourage you on this evening to stay together, to stay tuned. Don't go anywhere because you just might miss something. So we want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to participate in this service and our supervisor has designed a program on this evening that will welcome and invite everyone to participate no matter what form you are in, online, by phone, or in person. I believe there is something here for you tonight as we highlight women in ministry. And at this time, we are going to start with our prayer and that will be done by our very own Missionary Bates followed by scripture reading by Missionary Sai. And then you'll be in the hands of our praise and worship team, the Oregon State Jurisdiction Praise and Worship Group. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we just want to say thank you for being our God. We thank you for your faithfulness, God. We thank you for keeping us all day long. God, we thank you for keeping us with a mind stayed on you. God, we thank you for being God alone. If it had not been for you on our side, we would have been consumed a long time ago. But thanks be to God who has given us the victory to triumph. And God, we are more than conquerors. God, we believe you for all things and we doubt you for nothing. Oh God, we thank you for staying the hand of death off of us and our families, God. For protecting us all night long, God. Protecting us as we travel the freeways, God. Protecting us from danger seen and unseen. Oh, God, we thank you right now. We thank you for dispatching your guardian angels around us, God. We thank you for anointing our heads with oil. God, we thank you because goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our life. Oh, God, we thank you for a great salvation. We thank you for giving your son, Jesus, who died in part for our sins, God. We thank you right now, God. We thank you for your delivering power. We thank you for delivering right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we look to you right now, God. We look to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. We look to you, God, because you can do anything but fail. So, oh, Jesus, we need you right now. And we bless you right now. And we thank you right now. And we glorify you right now. You are God. You are high and you're lifted up. Your name is excellent in all the earth. And we thank you right now. Because at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. Because you are our Lord. You're everything we need. You're the best thing that ever happened. When we searched all over God, we couldn't find nobody. Nobody could save us. And nobody could heal us. But it was you, God, and you alone. And not only that, God, but you keep on doing great things. And we thank you right now. Your love faileth not. And your mercies are everlasting. And your truth endureth unto all generations. And so, God, we lift our eyes up to the hills from which coming our help. Our help come from you, God. Thank you for being a present help in the time of trouble. In this troubled land, God, you've been our help, God. You kept us from disease. You kept us from danger. You kept us with a whole body. And we thank you right now. You allowed the deaf angel to pass over this jurisdiction. Not COVID. You allowed it right now. And we thank you, 
God. Thank you for looking on our pastors. Thank you for looking on our leaders. Thank you for looking over our churches. Thank you for giving us sufficiency. Thank you for supplying all of our needs. So God, right now, we tell you, thank you. Young people everywhere, we just want to say thank you. And if you don't do enough, you've already done enough. We thank you, God, because you change it not. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. But right now, I want to talk about my right now, God. You are right now healer. You are right now deliverer. You are right now mind regulator. So right now, God, heal, save, set free, and deliver right now. Heal, deliver, and set free. God, go in that trouble home. Go on that street corner, in that jailhouse, in that street corner, God. Do it right now. Look up in that hospital, God, and save as only you can. And God, for the next few moments, we just want to give you praise. We just want to honor you. We just want to glorify you. So look on your word. Everybody that shall come forth, God, on this program, in the name of Jesus, I want you to do it right now. Do it right now, God, in the name of Jesus. So, God, we turn and we repent of our ways and we want to be more like you, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, God, bless our supervisor. Give her strength right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless our bishop, God. Strengthen him right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And we'll bless you for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will lift mine eyes unto the hill from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which created heaven and earth. God bless you. one more time we're just grateful to God this evening and as I sports stated we came for no other reason but to bless the name of the Lord we know that you're looking right now we know that you're in your living rooms in your homes and maybe even driving down the street but wherever you may be we are just grateful that you are here with us on this evening to serve our great big God hallelujah hallelujah Jesus
praise the Lord. Come on, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise him tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, we're going to Shabbat God tonight. Come on, we're going to lift him up tonight.
do your dance. Let me see you lift him up. Let me see you lift him up. Let me see you leave for joy. Let me see you leave for joy. Let me see you leave for joy. Let me see you. Let me, let me, let me. Come on. You are to clap your hands. You are to clap your hands. You are to do your dance. You are to do your dance. You are to lift him up. You are to lift him up. Say higher. of Jesus. It ought to make your hands go up. And somebody said it ain't even a stick up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ought to proclaim that that I have the victory. Glory to God. Glory to God. We are victorious in Christ Jesus. Thank God for the victory. Thank God for the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus. Our God is an awesome God. And I believe that everyone that is in person with me right now, those of you that are online, as well as those of you on the phone, you can testify to that that God is an awesome God. And you might, there might be somebody who might be a little bit mm, on the fence about that. And I would like to give you a credible challenge to prove that God is awesome. Just look at yourself. Could nobody have made you but God? And the word of God says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. So therefore, God is awesome and he has proved himself to you. Because our God made you. There's only one of you. Special. Made in the image of God. We thank the Oregon State Jurisdiction Praise and Worship Team for ushering the presence of the Lord in this place. God bless you. I choose to believe that every one of you that are participating in this service today, no matter what format you chose, you are enjoying yourself. I know that I am. We know that our theme on this week is a time of refreshing shall come. And when it comes, you better catch it. You better grab it. Oftentimes things come our way but we're hesitant to accept the blessing that God has delivered into our hand. But I encourage you on tonight to accept all that God has got for you. So when the blessings begin to rain down, you just reach up and get it. What do they say when the water is troubled? You better step on in. And we are going to formally welcome you because some of you may not have been on when we started our service on this evening. But at this time, we're going to extend to you a welcome by our very own Deaconess Missionary, Jeanette Sims. We walk by faith and not by sight. Greetings, people of God, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We welcome you to our 2021 Oregon State Jurisdictional 77th Annual Women's Convention where our presiding bishop is the Bishop A.R. Hopkins Sr. and our mother, Mother Trina Hopkins Green. We thank you for joining us tonight, whether by Facebook, by YouTube, or in the sanctuary. So let us get together and join in with the service and let God have his way. You're welcome once, you're welcome twice. You're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we thank Missionary Sims for that warm welcome. And I believe you already felt welcome because we had ushered the presence of the Lord in this place. And wherever he is, we know we welcome. And so that was just our formal official welcome for those that maybe weren't in at the start of the service. But I encourage all of you, just as she has shared, no matter what format you're joining us on today, that you just get in with us and enjoy yourselves on this evening. And at this time, we are going to go into our time of giving. And we know that with every event, there is an expense. And you women of Oregon State Jurisdiction, you have been absolutely phenomenal. You have supported this event, this convention. And you know what's so special about you? You didn't wait until the last minute, but you began to do your work early so that we can make sure that everything is taken care of. However, we know that there are some of you that did not have an opportunity to participate. And so therefore, we'd like to give you this time to join in with us to help take care of the expenses of the convention. Now, guess what? Those of you that registered, and as a result of registering, you received a beautiful convention bag that had a number of nice things in it. And along with that bag, your expense offering for tonight has been taken care of. So those of you that did that, thank you so much. And you know what, ladies? You did such a great job that we sold out of the registration packets. So give yourselves a hand. That is absolutely wonderful. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So at this time, we would like to extend to you an opportunity to give. And you may say, well, First Lady Norris, how can I give? I'm not in the sanctuary with you. What can I do? Well, do you know in this time of technology, 
technology, you don't even have to leave your home. You can go on to Cash App. You can go and pay as well through Givelify. And again, those of you that have already taken care of it by purchasing and pre-registration, you're taken care of. Now, if you take a look at your screen, you'll see on the banner that's on the very bottom of your screen, you will see scrolling across the different methods to access our payment options. Cash App, you will see the dollar sign, followed by Oregon ST. WMN, and that is how you find us on Cash App. If you would like to pay via Givelify, look for Oregon State Women's Department. And we appreciate whatever you are able to give. And what I would like to ask, if you could, find it in your heart to give us $15, $20, we will certainly accept whatever you're able to do. The work that we do in the ministry of the women's department goes beyond the four walls of the church. Oftentimes, we will help other families that are in need. We may help children. And we know that in this current day and time, the economic conditions are stressful for many people. And there are many people without food. And the work of the women's department takes care of those natural, essential needs. So thank you in advance for all that you are able to do. And again, look on the bottom of your screen. You will see on the banner the two options, Cash App, dollar sign, Oregon, ST, WMN, or Givelify, Oregon State Women's Department. And if by chance, for some reason, you're working on it, you're getting your phone, or you want to do it on your smartwatch, we have all different ways by which you can access those apps. Feel free to do so throughout the entire service. If you would like to, we are available anytime. And I see someone in the sanctuary showing me their phone saying they found it. They found it. They took care of it. Thank you so, so much. And we know we're going to pray for our offering and for all of you. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your people. Thank you, God, for the generosity of the saints. Lord, we ask that you just bless them one by one and name by name. God, you know there are those that are giving, Lord, beyond what they even know they're able to do. And Lord, there are those that are giving, Lord, because they believe in the ministry and they believe in you. And God, there are even some who are unable to give but wish they could. Lord, bless everyone, Lord, in the name of Jesus and give them the assurance that everything that they do for you is not in vain. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you in advance for what you have done. I believe that you have done a wonderful job and you're going to make our supervisor proud. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Now, as we said on last night, we have some activities by which everyone can participate in. And some of you know me well, and you know that I really do enjoy um, empowerment sessions and things like that that will encourage you to um, develop yourself and to just be a better you. Over the last year, we have had um, experiences we would have never thought of. If we would have thought back a year and a half ago, two years ago, none of us would have said, we didn't know what COVID was. It might have been on the back of the, the Clorox bottle, but we didn't know what it was. But now when they, say, when they say COVID, everybody knows what it is, right? So we have definitely lived through some challenging times. And so one of the things that um, I would like to spend some time with you on tonight is helping you to think about yourself. Tonight we are highlighting women in ministry. We know statistically that women give 150%. And men, I'm sure they do too. But tonight, we're talking about women. All right? And women give 150%. Their aunts, their moms, their employees, their caregivers, they are a number of things. And they work hard in everything that they do. But sometimes, the one thing that we don't do when we don't do well is self-care. It's self-care. And we know throughout this last year, there have been so many things that have caused us additional stress and pressure that um, we have done some things like gain weight. 
Uh, maybe we have um, been unable to take care of loved ones like we would like to have done, just a host of things, even get out of the house. And as a result of that, there are various issues and traumas and things that are occurring. And so what our supervisor would like for all of us to do, men and women can participate in this activity, we're gonna take a look at some questions and we want everyone to participate. Now, if you're on the phone, if you are online, or if you're even in the sanctuary with me, just get a pencil, piece of paper, or, and you can write it down, back of the envelope or what have you, and you can even do it in your mind. And if you're a young people, take out your phone. You know how you do. You don't use a pencil and pen. You just type it into your phone. And we're gonna ask you some questions. And you know what, there are no right or wrong answers. But the purpose of the questions is to help you to reflect. Like in this time of COVID, how many of us have really taken a respite, right? And some of you might say respite, we hear that oftentimes it's related to when you're caring for someone else who has to go away because of, let's say they have an elderly person they care for, maybe they have children that they care for and you'll step in. But the purpose of a respite is a short break from a difficult or challenging time. That's the purpose of a respite. Now, how many of you have given yourself a respite during this challenging time of COVID? How many of you have actually done that, right? So we're gonna ask some questions tonight and you're gonna see the questions come across the screen and what I want you to do is just in your phone or write it down or even in your mind, answer the question, yes or no. And then after all five of the questions have been asked, then you think to yourself, do I need to make a change? Do I need to do something for me? It doesn't even require any money. It just might be going outside and enjoying the sunshine. It might just be sitting in your backyard, in, in your, your hammock or your, your lounge chair, whatever you have that you enjoy. Do something for you. And our first question is, do you believe in self-care? Do you believe in self-care? That's our first question. And so answer that for yourself, yes or no. And there's a difference between self-care and self-indulgence. But do you believe in self-care? Number two, do you realize that self-care does not equal weakness? So taking care of yourself is not a bad thing if you decide that you would like to take a trip to the beach for the weekend, you don't have to apologize for doing that if it's going to give you some peace and allow you to relax and allow you to gather yourself. Are you okay with slowing down sometime? Hmm. How many of us, when we decide instead of doing the laundry, I'm just gonna sit down and watch my favorite TV show, but while you're doing it, you're feeling guilty the whole time because you think I'm being unproductive and I should be folding those clothes. And that might very well be true, but guess what? If you take the time to revive and renew your spirit and yourself, you will be better when you go to fold the clothes because you won't be cranky, you won't be angry, but you will feel better and you will feel like you did something for yourself. And you know what? At the end of the day, guess what? Everyone, men and women, you're worth it. You are worth it. Have you made self-care a habit? Have you made it a habit? So that means, do you do something that makes you feel good, that takes, care of, that takes care of you, whatever that might be? Do you do it more than once? Now, I think Stephen Covey says that you have to do it 21 times in a row for it to become a habit. So if you decide to go to the beach, or if you decide to go to your favorite uh, park, and just have a good time walking around the track or just sitting down in the nice grass or on a bench, if you only do that once every six months, that's not a habit. That's not a habit. But instead, you want to find yourself doing something that makes you feel good, that gives you joy regularly. Because if you feel good, everyone around you will benefit. Are you able to take time for yourself without feeling guilty. And again, we're talking about women and we're highlighting women in ministry. And we know that with women, for the most part, we'll make sure everyone else is taken care of. But when it comes to us, we'll find every excuse to talk ourselves out of it. And we won't do it. And then when something happens, 
because we didn't take the time to rejuvenate ourselves or to give, make ourselves happy, right? Then something happens and we are then spending time with this you know, psychologist or therapist or something and nothing's wrong with them, but oftentimes we could have prevented it had we taken time to give back to ourselves. And I promise you, God cares about the whole woman. He believes in a holistic approach. He wants you to be well naturally and spiritually, right? And guess what? He's given us the tools to do it. Think about it. He is the creator of all things. And so as a result of that, the mountains and the beach and your favorite place and all the things that you like to do, he had a hand in that. And so if he made it for you, he's just waiting for you to take advantage of it. So I am encouraging you on behalf of our supervisor to take a respite from all of this that has gone on and be okay with taking care of yourself. All right, ladies and, and gentlemen as well, if you went through and you thought about yourself and self-care, you too, it's important for you as well to ensure that you take care of yourself. Ladies, over this past year, you have done some wonderful things, such as the bi-monthly prayer. You have participated, and we have had a wonderful time in the Lord as we have prayed together. You have, as I said earlier, you supported the convention. You participated in the holiday fellowship, and you recently participated, and you enjoyed being together in the sip and chat. And I heard many of you say, I am so glad to see you. And we were touching the screen because we hadn't seen one another in so long. And we were excited. And people were using the chat to connect with one another. And then also this, on this past year, we implemented the communications team. And they have been busy working along with the supervisor to ensure that all of the information gets out to you regularly and on time. And on behalf of our supervisor, thank you, women of Oregon State Jurisdiction. You are highlighted on tonight for the work that you are doing in the ministry. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And I just request on behalf of the supervisor, Hold on, continue to do the work of the Lord, and in just a short time, a time of refreshing shall come, and we will be together again in person. And since you enjoyed all of those methods of coming together from a virtual perspective, our supervisor reached out to you, and she said, send me a picture of yourself, send me a greeting, send me a note, and she was going to do something special with it. And so at this time, we are going to present to you a video presentation of the women, in, women of Oregon State Jurisdiction, a time of refreshing shall come. Enjoy. Amen. Well, while the video is preparing to, to begin, I would like to share with all of you that our international mother, Mother Barbara McCoo Lewis, was scheduled to be with us tonight via video. However, um, there was an adverse weather situation in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. And as a result of that, uh, the presentation that was planned for her uh, has been delayed. And so as a result of that, we asked Mother if it would be acceptable to her for us to reschedule the presentation. And she gracefully said yes. And so I want to let you all know that on behalf of our international mother, Barbara McCoo Lewis, she sends her love and she sends her appreciation. She doesn't know what the presentation is just yet, but whatever it is, she felt that it was very, very kind and thoughtful of Oregon State to give her something. And so she's anxiously awaiting its arrival and we're all going to come together and see her as she opens up the package and shares with us what our women's department has given on to her. Amen. And so we are preparing for our video presentation. It will be coming. But as we 
look at what we have ahead for us. We are going to on this evening, in addition to the video presentation, we will have a musical selection coming to us again from the Oregon State Jurisdiction Department. And our speaker tonight will be our very own, none other than District Missionary Laverne Davis. And I have to tell you about Missionary Davis. She is my friend. We have worked together for a number of years, and we have such a good time doing the work of the Lord. And when we talk about highlighting women in ministry, you find yourself, when you're working for the Lord, you may have a number of different hats and a number of different jobs. But you know what? Even though the body might get a little bit tired, but the Lord always gives us strength to do the work. And that's what I see in our very own missionary, Davis. She works tirelessly to fulfill that which God has put in her hands to do. And I know tonight when she comes to us to share with us what God has given to her to encourage the women that each person that is listening to her message on tonight will be uplifted and encouraged and inspired. And you know how we say to run on, to see what the end is going to be. Because now is not the time to give up, ladies. No, 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 no. Now is not the time to give up. But now is the time to stand tall and stand firm in your faith and to be an example for those that are looking for something that they want to know. How is it that you made it through all of this and you're happy and you're filled with joy? How did that happen? And so at this time, are we ready? All right. And so at this time, we're going to give you into the hands of our music department for a selection. Who knows that the God we serve is awesome, he's mighty, and he secured for us the victory. If you know that, put in the comments somewhere that God is awesome. Say, God is my victory. This song simply says, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Who knows that our God is healer? He's awesome in power. Our God. Whoa. The song says, water you turned into wine, open the eyes of the blind, there's no one like you, none like you. Into the darkness you shine Oh, out of the ashes you rise There's no one like you Oh, there's none like you Oh, this next part I love it so much it says Our God is greater Our God is stronger God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, help me say our God in one voice. Say, our God is greater. Our God, our God is stronger. God, you are God, higher. You are higher than any. Oh, our God is our healer. God is healer. Oh, awesome in power. Our, our God. God, our God. Oh, 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 oh. Our God is greater. Our God, uh, our God is stronger. God, you're higher. God, you are higher than oh. any. Others. Our God is healer. Our God is healer. Our God. Awesome in power. Oh, our, our God. God. Oh, our God. Our God is greater. Help me say. Our God is greater. Our God. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher. God, you are higher than any Oh, other. our God is healer. Our God is healer, awesome in power, awesome in power. Our, our God. God, 
us and if our God is with us then what could stand against and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then what can help me say help me say if and if our God is for then us who, then who could ever oh, stop us and if our God is with what us stand? then what could stand oh, 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 and if our God is for oh, 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 us then who could ever and stop if us our God, and if our God is oh, with then us what can then stand? what could oh, stand and if and if our God is if for us, God be then who for us, could ever who stop can us? Stand and against if our us, God is if with our us, God then be what for could us, stand if against us? And if our us, God is who for can us, stand then against who could us? ever we stop us? We serve a mighty God. And if our God is we with serve us, a mighty God. Then what could stand, stand against us? And if our God is who for us, then who could ever stop us? We serve angels bow before and him God is heaven with and us, earth adore him stand oh, God. And God yeah, is yeah, 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 what a mighty God and we serve, God is then what can stand us, against, then what can stand oh, against, oh. don't you know we serve a mighty God, there's nobody like him, there's nobody like him. Then what can then stand? What could stand again? Oh, you're the greatest. So you're the greatest. So you're the greatest. So you're the greatest. Then what can stand against? Then what oh, could stand against? And if our God is then for who us, can ever, then who could ever oh, stop our us? God. And if our God is what with can us, stand against? then what could stand oh, against? And if our God is for us, stand? then who could ever oh, stop oh, us? Oh, if our God, and if our God is with then what us, could stand? then what could stand oh, again? stand against us nothing nothing what could stand then what could stand again God we thank you because it's all in your hands then what could stand then what could stand oh, again? oh one last time one last time then what could stand? Then what could stand against? Somebody give God a hand praise wherever you are. Somebody give God a hand praise wherever you are because we serve a great God. He's mighty, he's mighty. There's nobody like our God. Nobody like our God. Somebody say what can stand against us. If our God is for us, oh, yeah. who can stand against us? Ooh, not yeah. politics, yeah. not the virus, yeah. not relationships, oh, not what's going on in the outside world. Oh, Nothing can stand yeah. against us. Somebody give out a hand, praise. Amen.
Praise the Lord, everyone. I would like to wish the Women's Department of Oregon State Jurisdiction a wonderful and spirit-filled women's convention. God bless you all. Hello, my name is Missionary Jenny Bates. I belong to the Greater Solid Rock Church of God in Christ in Portland, Oregon, where Bishop A.R. Hopkins Sr. is my pastor and my bishop. Supervisor Trina Hopkins Green is our saintly mother. We love and respect her dearly. God bless you, Supervisor. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. Mwah. Good afternoon, one and all. I bring you greetings from the New Life Community Church of God in Christ. I am First Lady Stevens, and my pastor is Elder Chris Stevens. My name is Sister Kiana Crittenden, and I attend Walker Temple Church of God in Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lady Wendy Jackson. I belong to the Daniels Memorial Church of God in Christ, where the pastor is Reverend Creighton Jackson. God bless you. Hi, this is Keisha. I'm representing Greater Solid Rock Church of God in Christ, where everybody is somebody and God is supreme. My name is Leanne Owens, and I am a member of Consumed by the Harvest. Hi, my name is Miranda Chatterton, and I go to Walker Temple Church of God in Christ, who my pastor is Pastor Mac L. Walker. This is Tierra Bryson. I'm a member of Walker Temple Church of God in Christ. My pastor is Mac L. Walker. You have a blessed day. I am Tamara Hopkins. I am a member of New Direction Community Church, Bishop Eric Hopkins Jr. and Lady Stacy Hopkins. God bless you. This is Sister Minnie Fletcher from Wayside Chapel Church of God in Christ, La Grande, Oregon. I'm Sister Rachel Hall, and I attend Daniel's Memorial Church of God in Christ, where my pastor is the Reverend Creighton Jackson. Lady Stacy Hopkins, New Directions Community Church. Good afternoon, everyone. On this beautiful day that the Lord has blessed us with, I am aspiring missionary Lynette Green from Blessed Temple Community Church of God in Christ, Pastor Vernon Norris, and First Lady Janice Norris. Hopkins from the Greater Solid Rock Church of God in Christ. My bishop is Bishop A.R. Hopkins Sr. My supervisor, Supervisor Trina Hopkins Green. God bless you on your women's convention. Hello, my name is Sister Doreen Jones. I'm a member of New Testament Community Church of God in Christ. My pastor is Pastor Leon Brewer, Jr. I'm Evangelist Missionary Sharice Crane of New Direction Community Church, Portland, Oregon. God bless you. My name is Missionary Carla Manyweather. I attend Powerhouse Church of God in Christ under the leadership of Superintendent Percy J. Mullen and First Lady Cynthia Mullen. Hello, my name is Aspiring Missionary Olita Moore, and I attend Blessed Temple Community Church, Church of God in Christ, where my pastor is Pastor Vernon B. Norris. Hi, this is Missionary Dolores Montgomery Goldsby. I am a member of Cornerstone Church of God in Christ under B. E. Pastor B.E. Johnson, uh, Senior Pastor. I am uh, a missionary in the church and um, treasurer for the YWCC and our church uh, choir. Hello, this is Sister Sharon Hill of Blessed Temple Church of God in Christ. My name is Missionary Real House. I attend St. Luke Memorial Church of God in Christ. My name is aspiring missionary Paula DePass Dennis, and I am a member of Blessed Temple Community Church, also known as BTCC. I am um, under the, excuse me, under the leadership of Vernon Norris and Lady Janice Norris. Hi, I'm Mother Roberta Robinson from Blessed Temple Community Church. Pastor Vernon L. Norris is my pastor. I'm missionary Maxine Hurd, and I'm a member of New Life Community Church of God in Christ. Hi, Supervisor. This is Michelle Webster, and I am from Walker Temple, Church of God in Christ. God bless you. Hello, my name is Sister Smith, and I attend Greater Solid Rock Church of God in Christ. Missionary Janice Norris of Blessed Temple Community Church. Congratulations, Supervisor, on your 2021 Oregon State Jurisdiction Virtual Women's Convention. 
Hi, my name is Evangelist Tracy Crittenden, and I attend Walker Temple, Church of God in Christ. what to say and how to say it, that someone might be renewed, refreshed, restored, and yes, revived. Lord, with each person under the sound of my voice, be with them, lead them, and guide them. Supply their every need, undertake each family that's represented, Lord, and be with us in our aches and our pains and our heartaches in these trying times with the COVID virus, police brutality, racial injustice, and global warming. Lord, undertake for each of us. We know that you are the antidote for what ails our planet and our people. You remind us in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 of what we need to do as a people, as your people. Touch, Lord, and heal, and give understanding and peace to the people. In the name of Jesus, we pray. First of all, giving honor to God and giving honor to our beloved pa Bishop, got to get it right, who brought the word last night. What a word. What a word. And we needed just what he said. To our saintly supervisor, Trina Hopkins Green, and this great theme, she was in tune to our needs as God gave her the theme, a time of refreshing shall come. And it is the time and we need a refreshment and we have to be ready when it comes. To all the pastors, all the first ladies, all of the women of God, you men too, but giving honor to God as we give you a little bit, a short talk today. It won't be long, and I really don't plan to teach. I, you know that I'm a teacher by heart. I was in the Portland Public School System for over 33 years as a teacher, a counselor, and a principal. And I loved my children. And I was glad I was there for them. But I'm going to kind of remind you, not so much teach, but remind you that we as Christians, we need to encourage each other. We need to show kindness to our fellow, fellow man. It is our God-given duty to encourage others by showing kindness and mercy. Each one, each one of us needs to increase and refresh our willingness to be about God's business. Yeah, yeah. So, some of the older saints, you can see kindness. We need to practice kindness. They have that kind of expression. I know you've seen it because I've seen it. They, stick, they smile even though they're not grinning. And they look at you with compassion and understanding. They, they, they have it in their faces. Sometimes they don't even say anything, just they look and the twinkle makes you feel comfortable and loved. It is a trait that all saints should possess, loving kindness. Often, we, women of God, we're supposed to be about our Father's business. We are supposed to be winning souls for Christ, introducing people to the way and the life of our Father. So many times we get bogged down and our smiles kind of fade away. We, we are burdened down and we forget that we're supposed to let go and let God. I'm guilty. I do it. 
The Bible tells us to take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. So many times we do that, but you know what we do? We pick them right back up. God could handle it, but we don't give him a chance. But if we hold to our spiritual beliefs and let go and let God, he will make a way for his children. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning light. And it might not be the 24 hours that we're thinking about, but God's time, he promised joy. Joy in the morning. One of my favorite sayings was that if you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. My mother used to say, if he brings you to it, he will take you through it. John 3.16 tells us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that that whosoever, okay, here we go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that means everybody, young, old. God has an unconditional love for each of us. In his kindness, in his mercy, if only we follow his commandments and live right, we can make it to heaven and enjoy the things that are described in heaven. I know you've heard it. Streets paved with gold. We all have mansions. Mine is 777 Southeast Holy Ghost Road. We're promised long white robes. We're promised to sing in the choir if we want to. And you don't even have to carry a tune because it said, make a joyful noise and we will all sound good because of what we are doing. Joyful, joyful, joyful. We look forward to seeing our loved ones again. I know there's a bunch of controversy about that, but God there's, no, there's not going to be any sadness in heaven. And I know that he, I'm going to see my mom. I know I'm going to see my dad. And he won't let us remember things that are not so or that are saddening. So I know that we are going to meet up with our folks, our loved ones that have gone on before us. I want to sit around and chat with old Paul and Silas. I want to talk to the Hebrew boys. Yeah, all right. And you know what I really want to do? I want to see and talk to that thief that was crucified at the time that Jesus was crucified. Now, I know there was one that mocked Jesus. I'm not talking about him. He won't be there anyway. But I'm talking about the one in Luke 23, 42 and 43. I know you remember that he said, Lord, we are guilty. We are supposed to be here, but you are not. We know that you are without fault. I know that when you go back to your father, when you get over there after all the craziness has calmed down and everything, will you remember me? Will you remember me? Jesus turned his head and said, today, Today, you will be with me in paradise. I just want to talk to him. I just want to ask him, how did it feel? And, and what was it like when you got up there? No goodbyes, just howdy howdies. The song says, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. You know, it kind of gives me goosebumps when I think about it because there's nothing but goodness, nothing but goodness with our Father. We will be able to do 
and enjoy heaven as we've been told. Now, sometimes we know that when we should be about our father's business, we need to be pleasant and caring, and our expressions need to show kindness. One of my grandchildren, Chanel, when she was five years old, we were in the car and we were driving somewhere, I don't even remember, but we stopped at a stoplight. And there was a church right over where she could see, right against the curb. And there was an older couple sitting there with a great big sign that said, yes, Jesus loves you. She read the sign, she said, yes, Jesus loves you. And then she looked puzzled and she said, why are they mad about that? I'm glad Jesus loves me. They had frowns on their faces and they were looking burdened down. They had the right message, just the wrong expressions. When we profess to be believers and on the wall to encourage sinners to join the fold, People are always watching us, watching everything we say, watching everything we do, especially if we're talking to them, trying to get them to take that step closer to God. Our children watch us, and they can mimic us to the T. Whether you're at church, at home, at the grocery store, or at the beauty shop getting your hair braided. They listen to what you say. You think sometimes they're not listening, but they hear and they see. My mom was on the phone last night, and this is what she said. She said, child, did you see Sister Sally at church yesterday? Lord have mercy, she's had on so much makeup, she looked plastic. Or they'll say, did you see Sister Janet? Somebody should have gave her a comb and a brush. Better yet, they should have gave her a hat to hide that stuff. You, you know, you, you can hear this and you see this and you know what I'm talking about. Because kids just know. Mama shouts like this and they can get you just to the T. They know exactly what you do and they can mimic you. When daddy gets happy, he does this. And they mimic him to the teeth. Now, we need to be especially conscious of what we do because we are about our father's business. We are to bring souls to Christ. That's our job. That's what we need to do. And we need to be on top of our game. Because as I said, people watch you. And then somebody that you are really praying for, especially a family member, you're really praying for them and you're telling them, you know, this is right. You got, you got to take that step. You got to be what God wants you to be. You got to be part of the kingdom. Yet, those are the very people that you have to be careful with because they, I saw you cutting a rug last night. Do Christians do that? I heard what you said under your breath. That's what a Christian does. They point those kind of things out to you. But we have to show them loving kindness. We have to be on our game. We have to let them know that Christ lives in us. We do get angry but we don't sin. Yes. Uh -huh. Our God is our example. Yes. Saints, what we need to do is to be kind, show loving kindness to everybody, and especially that person that doesn't deserve it. Because that's how you get their attention. As I said before, you know, Older saints, you can see it especially, and I, I say that because, I mean, we're older saints too now. But you want to be around a saint 
you, 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 you are listening to what they have to say. They have that peace. They have that look like, I know something really, really good. Yes. And they, you feel comfortable around them, and you might even let them tell you what that something is. But you have to be in the position. You have to be encouraging. You have to be kind to all people, even the ones that don't deserve it especially the ones that don't deserve it. You have to let go and let God lead you in everything that you do. And I know that that sounds different, especially to the people out there. But you know how we pray, we talk to God day and night. We talk to God when we're driving in our car. We talk, we ask, we pray. It's a continual thing. We don't do it just Sunday morning. You know, my husband and I, we pray together every morning and we pray together every night. But I pray throughout the day. I have to. And in order to stay sane, we have to sometimes because we have to let go and let God. Saints, show loving kindness. Amen. Didn't you enjoy District Missionary Davis as she gave us words of encouragement and to remind us of the importance of making salvation appealing? We want to draw other souls to Christ because that's our job. And she gave us some tools and some tips that we can use in our everyday living that will help us if we take heed to them. Thank you so much, Missionary Davis, for sharing with us on this evening. I know that the ladies that are in person with us right now, those that are on the phone as well as online, will take what you had to heart and as a result of it, increase God's kingdom. And so there may be someone that's listening to the service tonight that does not know God. And we know that it's always in order to open the doors of the church. And some of you might say, the church, we can't go to the church. I'm online or I'm in my car. The church is in you. And if you haven't discovered that over this past year or so, where we have been limited to our ability to come into the sanctuary, we now know that God is within us. And we came up under the, take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. And so at this time, we would like to say, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the word that you gave to us on this evening. And God, we are looking up to you right now, the author and the finisher of our faith. And God, we are looking to you to meet the needs of your people. And Lord, those that are out there that don't know you, God, touch their hearts right now. The woman that is out there that is discouraged, the one that doesn't know which way to turn, the one that needs just a little bit more strength. God, you touch her right now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, touch her, Lord. Let her know that you've heard every prayer. Let her know that you've seen every tear. Let her know, God, that she's not alone, but that you are carrying her in the palm of your hand. So God, these things that we ask of you right now in the name of Jesus, and that soul that desires to be saved, that, des that soul that re desires to experience a refreshing time in you. God, you do it right now, Lord. Touch their heart, God. Touch their mind, Lord. Do what only you can do. Turn them around, God, in the name of Jesus. We believe in you, Lord. And we know that through you all things are possible. And God, we're believing in you. And like your word says in Mark, have faith in God. There's nothing that you can't do, God, in the name of Jesus. So God, go into every home. Go into every car. Go into every TV screen. Go into every computer screen. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. And do what only you can do, God. 
set free, lift up, and encourage and inspire. Motivate your people to run on to see what the end is going to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Don't let this moment Thank you, Jesus. Don't let this moment pass you by. Don't let Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is here. He's here. He's here right now. Right no matter now. where you are. Hallelujah. All of your soul. You've heard the word and you've heard the call. And all of all your you need to do is just surrender unto him right now. God will meet you right where you are. The Lord is here. No matter who you are, he has no respect of person. Thank you, Jesus. This moment pass you by. Thank you, Jesus. Take my advice. Don't let this moment pass you by. Jesus is here. He's here. He's here right now. No matter what you need, no matter where you are, Jesus will do it for you. Just give it to him. Trust him, give it to him, and he'll take it. And all of your ah, hallelujah. He it's just a matter of time. He'll answer every prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Don't let this moment pass. Don't let it pass you by. You can be a new creature. Just give it to him. And believe. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You weren't here by mistake, but you were here because there was something that you needed to hear. And I believe that someone is going to leave this service on tonight, a new creature, encouraged and inspired. And you will know that God has heard your prayer. He has seen your tears. He knows you. He loves you. There's nothing that he won't give unto his children. And you are one of his children. And so as you know, last night, we had a wonderful time. And our bishop came to us with a dynamic message. And our very own missionary, Davis, came tonight to encourage us to make Christianity appealing. To show love and kindness because the word says with love and kindness have I drawn men unto thee. And so tomorrow night is the finale. And as we say, we are leading up to the best night of our three-day convention. You've had a little taste of, of our convention and to learn a little bit about a time of refreshing shall come. And I believe you have been refreshed already on night one and night two. But let me just tell you, just like the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, tomorrow night will be the closeout night where our very own supervisor, Mother Trina Hopkins Green, will come to us and she will expound on the word like never before. So I encourage you to come back on tomorrow night and to join us as we sit under her feet and we hear with thus saith the Lord because I believe that there will be that time of refreshing. And you know what's good about being at your home? When you are at home, you can be in your comfy clothes and you can shout all night long. You don't have to ask anybody to move over. You just find that spot at your house and you just have a good time with the Lord. And I believe that on tomorrow night, just like you did tonight and just like you did last night, I believe that God is going to meet us right where we are. So I ask you on tonight, invite someone to come. And you know what? With technology, know this. God doesn't make any mistakes. And we know the virus isn't a mistake. But as a result of the virus, God has expand, expanded our way to connect with the community. 
So guess what? No matter where they are, they can join in on the service. They can go online Facebook, they can go to YouTube, they can call on the phone, and they can be at home in front of their computer screen. But I encourage you to invite someone to come and join us on tomorrow night. We love you and we bless you and have a good evening and we will see you on tomorrow night. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, do what only you do, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, touch people everywhere, God. No matter where they are, Lord. In their home, God. In their car, God. On their job, God. Touch them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Save, Lord. Set free, God. Deliver, Lord. In the name of Jesus, encourage your people, God. They need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do what only you can do, God. Have your way. Have your way. Thank you, Lord. A refreshing shall come. A refreshing shall come. A refreshing shall come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. No matter where you are, join us as we praise our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You've been good to us, God. We can't thank you enough, Lord. You deserve the praise, the honor, and the glory. And it's yours. It's all yours. Our whole body belongs to you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way. Bless your people, God, in the name of Jesus. No matter where they are, touch them, God. Encourage God. Set free, God. Save God. Right where they are, God. Save God. Save God. Save God. Save. 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 God, in the name of Jesus, you're able, God. There's nothing too hard for you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, you're able. No matter what we need, God, it's all in your hands. You can do it, Lord. You can do it, Lord. We trust you, Lord. We believe in you, Lord. Have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. That woman that's discouraged, encourage her, God. Do it, Lord. Oh, God, you're more than enough, God. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. Oh, God, you're more than enough, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, with you we have the victory. With you we have the victory. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We have the victory with you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Yes, to your will, God. Yes, I'll obey, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tell him yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ha! My soul says yes. 
My soul says yes. My soul says yes. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, to your will, God. Yes, to your way, God. Yes, I'll obey, God. Yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we love you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Talk about a time of refreshing. A time of refreshing shall come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Come on back tomorrow night. Come on back tomorrow night. Oh, we'll be here. God bless you. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.